All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you guys. Somebody requested BP. So we're going to do BP, but I want to try to get as many flips as I can. We're just going to start off with this, even though it's stupid. Okay, he went for it. He's going to light me. Oh, I tried to react to the GB. Parried it late. Oh! No! He dodged. We didn't catch him. Rain advantage. He zones. He didn't dodge you. Oh my gosh. Top crush counter. Okay. Baited. No, sir. Bash him. Okay, no flips, no flips. I tried, I tried, and I ate dirt for it, but that is okay. We're gonna try. We have another chance next round. We have 66 Warden for the first game on. You know, Warden? Round two. I like fighting Warden. Warden's a lot of fun to fight. And he's a lot of fun to play too, I think. A lot of people complain about his bash, but I, I like it. I think it's fun. Okay, no light parry. I'm gonna get a flip. I don't care. Yeah, he parried that last time. Yes. Okay, see if he dodges. He crushing counters now. Dang you. <laughs> Why does he have to be making good reads? <laughs> Why can't he just make bad reads? Oh, and then I made a bad read. He made like every right read there. I baited out a crushing counter last round and he didn't go for it. So I was like, you know what? Since he died to a bash at the end of the first round, maybe maybe I'll do the undodgeable here and uh, and he'll dodge. But it looks like he's just going to sit still and just take the bash damage. So, you know, even though I lost that round, I got a lot of information. Um, so I'm just going to I'm just going to bash him. And if I ever get in chain, I'm just going to bash. Him. He does faint into lights quite a bit. So I need to actually start baiting those out. If he's gonna just sit still, then I'll, I'll hit him with these bashes all day. Oh wow, never mind. There you go. Trying to mess him up with this bash. Ooh, we baited it that time, baby. Dang you. We got him, we got him. Yeah, flips aren't working a whole lot. He's playing in a way that's kind of like, kind of difficult to, kind of difficult to flip against him, you know? And you can't really like flip on reaction against Warden, you know? Like you can't react to his bash. There's not a whole lot of stuff I can flip on reaction. That was unfortunate timing for him. Gonna bait it? I could have flipped there. Yeah, figured he was gonna go into that. There we go. I am out of stamina. Oh my gosh, we're just reacting to everything he throws. I just get a top heavy on this, don't I? I don't have enough stamina anyways. Oh no. Go for it. There we go. That's a clean first game on. We made a lot of the good reads and on his unblockables, I think we messed up like the first one or two he threw, but after he kept doing it, you know, we got used to it. We just reacted to like every unblockable he threw there. Glad to see I'm finally getting better at those. Good fight, brother. Good fight. All right. We have a new opponent. It's a Warlord. He's rep 17. Rep 17. Warlord, always tough. Always tough. We got this. Gonna zone him here. Let the first one fly. He parries it. People have been parrying the first one quite a bit lately. Oh no, wow. Just, oh my gosh, just a bash demon. Wow. Oh my gosh, I actually fall for I'm dead. I'm dead. 
Unfortunate. Unfortunate, man. Wow, he was bashing like crazy. All right, I'm going to have to actually pay attention and react to the orange because he was just he was just going in, man. I'm, I don't want to bash spam him, though. I feel like, I don't know, anytime I try to fight bash spam with bash spam, I just lose. I don't know why. I just, I just, it does not work out for me. And his bashes do 15 damage, so. Of course. I made the bad read there. Oh my gosh. His bashes do so much damage. Uh, it's not even what I did. Oh my gosh, I have no stamina ever. It's all he wants to do is bash. Dude, holy. This is insane, bro, that this, this can happen. Gosh, that is just... I can't believe people still play like this. <laughs> it's crazy. It's unfortunate this Bash does 15 damage. I think, does mine do 14 though? So I guess it's not too bad. This is, he just drains so much, so much stamina. So, so much stamina. It looks like he's trying to react to my Bashes too, but he's just reacting on movement. Can't dodge out of that. Bash him again. Nice. Bad read there. Yeah. Don't care. Just gonna keep doing it. Oh, now I care. Ooh, that's not any fun, is it? Yeah, that's not any fun for anybody. <laughs> that's not any fun for anyone. I saw that his skill was uh, slightly lower. I see why now. I see why, because you can beat like 90, probably like 90% of players, maybe more, honestly, just playing with this play style that he has. Because like to deal with it, you have to just be able to react, you know? Leaves a lot of stuff up for uh, timing and stuff. Wow, man. You did it. Nice back dodge guaranteed. Oh. Nope, not that time either. Mm. See, this is what I mean by the timing. I was lucky by me. I saw that he did a zone. Nope. Ah, uh, and he did it. Timing, man. Just timing over and over again. I'm just gonna light again. Mm, no, I'm out of stamina. It's gonna light him. Yeah, we made the read. He just wanted that headbutt so bad. He was just so, so thirsty for that headbutt. We were just able to read him and just light him out of that dodge forward. Good fight, brother. Good fight. All right. That last game was complete and utter pain. So hopefully this one isn't as painful. Rep 70 Zerk, though, and this is a subscriber. Played with him before. He's a pretty solid player. Last time I fought him, I believe he was on uh, Valkyrie. Gotta break him here. Okay, hey, nothing. Light him here. There we go. Mm. Okay, we got the flip. I made the read that he was going to see me sitting in full guard and he was going to guard break me and that's why I went into my unblockable instead of my flip. I didn't think he just... I, I just figured it was too obvious that I was going to go for a flip on a light. So I was like, nah, surely he's just going to he's going to make a read that I'm going to go for a flip on movement and he's going to guard break me. So that's why I did that. But he still threw me the light. So he did it again. There we go. There we go. That chain bash got him.
There we go. He did it that time. Do it again. <laughs> Man. He's just letting me run the show here. <laughs> we got the flips, baby. We got the flips. Yeah, he's letting me run the show. And it is kind of scary, though, being on Zerk. Like, whenever you don't have any sort of bash or anything, like, especially when you're fighting a character like BP, I can just flip everything he does. Um, not even on reaction, just on prediction. I don't have to react to the side for a parry or anything. So it can be kind of hard for him. Zerker really does struggle at a high level, I think. And he also can't react to bash. He's just having to read it based off of the forward dodge. So kind of hard. There we go. Making all the wrong reads, unfortunately. Oh, he got me there. Ah, oh, I was a little late. That was a last frame parry. There we go. He's finally not making the wrong reads on that anymore. Unfortunate timing. Bryce and I baiting out these crushing counters. Ooh, if I would have let that fly, I would have got him. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the unblockable from neutral, baby. The unblockable from, from neutral. We didn't even have good reactions on his lights, and it it just didn't really matter much. He just didn't get into his offense enough, and he was so scared of the flip, which is understandable. It's just a really bad matchup for Zerk. Good fight, brother. Good fight. All right, we have a rematch. Same guy, but he pulled out a rep 29 Centurion. Good fight, good fight, good fight. Nothing but respect, brother. Nothing but respect. Okay, I assume I can start bashing him now. I'm just gonna do it again. Gotta watch my stamina. Ooh, sometimes that faint just catches me. Get him low on stamina here. We'll let this fly now. I don't think he's... Okay, never mind. I am wrong. I shouldn't have gone back into it. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Light me. Man, he just doesn't have anything to open with. Bash him out of this one. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I could just keep spamming unblockables from neutral like that. <laughs> this is so funny. I messed up the first one though. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have like gone right back into my full guard, because me going right back into my full guard, I wasn't able to cancel in time for the parry because Centurion, even out of stamina as heavy as are relatively fast. Other characters I would have had time, but I should have waited to see if he went for it first. Ooh, nice stuff. What am I doing? I should be dodging and then flipping is what I should be doing. There we go. Made the read. Oh, I tried to go for a crush encounter there, but I wasn't able to get it in time. Mm. What the heck? That was weird. Okay, I'm low on stamina. Mm, bad read again. Oh, he did the light. He did the light. That was good. I probably should have just played it patient, but I went for an interrupt on his bash, on his chain bash there. I just thought he was going to charge it up, so I went for a... I just buffered a light immediately, but he did a second light instead. So that was a good read by him. He probably made the read that I was going to click a button there. But he didn't know what button, and he didn't want to have to worry about it, so he just did that. Oh, okay. As a guaranteed bash. Yeah, I'm just feigning these because he's been dodging them a lot and getting away with it, so... Okay, I'm low on stam. I gotta watch out. Ooh, we got him there. Yeah, much different round. I tried to play, like, a bit, like, safer there, basically. Um, and, well, not really safer, but, uh... Victory. Use my offense more. Like, my offense has been working. And, um, but, but so is, so is his because his offense is unreactable. Uh, so I've been struggling against his offense. So what I did there was I just played a bit more aggressive. So I didn't have to worry about making reads as much. And if he makes the right reads, then more props to him. You know, if he makes the reads and he wins the round off of it, then I mean, good stuff. I can't even complain. Let it fly again. 
Yeah, he go he reacts to almost every single one. Nice. Black Prior, man. Black Prior. Force to behold. Uh, bad read again. Yeah. Bunch of bad reads. It was uh, bad timing into two bad reads. Here we go. Then react to that one, of course. Man, he is just hitting me with these level ones, though. We're just gonna go for a bash. Bash him again. Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe. He was he was really starting to come back there, man. He was making a lot of those offensive reads, and Centurion's pressure is nothing to joke around with. Good fight, brother. Good fight. All uh, all right, you guys. This is gonna be the last fight of the video. Maybe a bit short. Maybe it won't be. I have no idea. Don't really care. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be the last one though, and it's a BP mirror. He's rep fifty nine on the BP. So let's see what we got, baby. Okay. Okay, he did do it. No reaction. Light him here. Bash him now. Light him. That was unlucky. Okay, nothing. No movement. Oh, he could have flipped that. That dodge forward heavy catches a lot of reaction players. Uh, so, like... I've already said this in quite a few videos, but this dodge forward heavy on BP, the reason BP has unreactable offense, it's considered unreactable, is because of this. So it will catch reaction players, because what we do is we wait to see this bash. We wait to see the bash in the dodge. We see a dodge forward, and then we wait to see any type of movement within the dodge before we dodge. Uh, normally that's just the bash, you know, but whenever there's a dodge forward heavy like this, it can catch. It can make us dodge. I tried flipping that. Looks like you can't, unfortunately. That was unfortunate. Nice. Making a lot of good reads here. No crushing counter. There's the crushing counter. One more time. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to expect it. Got that frame advantage for breaking, for blocking a light. Ooh. He didn't bait up my crush encounter. Uh, but yeah, so just doing this, especially if you delay it like that, you know? Because you can delay a bash. If you do this, then a lot of reaction players will see that dodge forward heavy and they'll dodge attack immediately. And since you can recovery cancel into your flip, you can do the dodge forward heavy and then flip their dodge attack for a 24 damage punish. So it's a really good thing you can do against high level reactionary opponents if you're struggling against a reactionary opponent. It's one thing you can do to get away with it. Didn't dodge that, surprisingly. He's just clicking. He's just clicking buttons now. All right, if he just wants to click buttons, then I'll just play a little bit safer. Go ahead. Light me back. Yeah, I'm getting punished for clicking buttons, so because of timing, so I'm just gonna click buttons on him. Or, I'm not gonna click buttons, and I'm just gonna let him be the one to click buttons. Rain advantage. Gonna go for light parry. He goes for a light flip and it works. Because uh, BP. See if we can get a flip for it. the end. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Hey, that was a pretty clean moment we had to end it with the flip, baby. I don't do near enough of those things. It's really good. It's underrated. I mean, it's 24 damage punish on literally any move in the game. So I definitely need to utilize that more. But anyways, that is gonna wrap it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. GG, brother. GG.